Hi yogis, welcome to another cannabis optional home yoga video. My name's Manali and for today's class I'll be guiding you in a yin yoga class to relieve lower back pain. If you're new to yin yoga, it's pretty much just long held passive poses that are really good for promoting deep relaxation and increasing flexibility. So we'll be holding these shapes for about 3 minutes on each side. So if you want you can grab your herb of choice, we'll be using two blocks. And if you want, you could grab a blanket or a towel, especially if you have sore knees. And we'll get started in a cross-legged position. Our first shape for today will be a cross-legged fold, so feel free to bring your heels further away from your hips to make this a little bit more accessible. Find rooting in your sitting bones and then walk your fingertips forward. Come part of the way down until you feel a nice stretch in your lower back, then find a natural curve in your spine. Let gravity on your breath do most of the work here, inhaling to create space in your lower back and ribs, and then exhaling to sink your heart and forehead a little bit closer to the mat. Find softness in your shoulders, your face and knees, and just start to trace the flow of your breath in this shape. Come back to your deep inhales and exhales if you've lost it. If you notice that your mind is drifting into different thoughts outside of this practice, that's perfectly fine and normal. Just acknowledge the thoughts that come up without overly attaching to them or getting too involved. Then just gently bring your focus back to your breath, back to the sensations that are going on in this shape right now. Inhale and slowly come up one vertebrae at a time, moving like you're moving through honey through this entire practice. Come to half lord of the fish's pose by bending your right knee so that it's facing the ceiling and stepping your right foot to the outside of your left knee. Hug your right knee in and sit up with a straight back and then bring your left palm behind you. Hug your right knee in Keep that length in your spine and revolve over to the left. 
Let your hips stay grounded with the twist starting from your navel. Inhale to slowly unwind, release your right leg and switch sides, bringing your left foot on the outside of your right knee, keeping the spine straight and then twisting. Bring your awareness to where you feel the stretch the most, probably in the outer hips. Even though this class is focused on a lower back stretch, the hips and spine are connected. So when we're gonna bring openness to the spine, we're inevitably gonna bring openness to the hips. Inhale to release slowly. Uncross your legs and let's come to a sphinx pose. Lay down on your belly. Bring your elbows underneath your shoulders or slightly more forward to lessen the intensity of this back bend. Palms are flat on the floor and bring your gaze down for a little bit of a neck stretch or you can bring your chin parallel to the mat. Gently press down in your forearms to keep the stretch in your lower back, or you can let your chest sink towards the mat to bring a shoulder stretch into this shape. Just make it work for you. Find softness in the bottom half of your body. And come back to that gentle, steady breath, letting it be your anchor into this space, or at the very least, Practicing this conscious breathing brings relaxation and reduces stress. Even more so if you've chosen to combine this practice with the soothing effects of your favorite herb. Feel free to spend these last five or six breaths in seal pose by walking your hands forward and picking your elbows and stomach up off of the floor. Come back to softness in your face, jaw and legs. Feel free to skip this if it just feels a little bit too intense on your lower back.
exhale slowly lower down cross your forearms over each other and bring your forehead to rest on your arms take a few deep cycles of breath here Inhale, slowly pick yourself up, pressing your palms underneath your shoulders to come up onto your hands and knees. Step your right foot in between your palms. We're gonna to come to pigeon pose here. So walk your right foot all the way to the left side of your mat. Come down onto that right knee and let your right foot come in if it comes in naturally. Gaze over your right shoulder and make sure that your left leg is extended behind you. Feeling free to use a blanket underneath your left knee maybe even a block underneath your right thigh. Let's stay in this pigeon for a few breaths, seeing how it feels on your outer right hip, on that right knee. And then walking your fingertips forward and coming into your sleeping pigeon. You can let your forehead relax on your arms or a block or the floor. This shape is really wonderful for relieving lower back pain, but if it does feel too intense on your hips or your knee, take a reclined pigeon instead. Just laying on your back and crossing your right ankle with your left knee, then bring your left thigh in towards your chest with your hands. In whatever version of the shape that you're in, just cultivate a sense of surrender, which is the essence of yin. Let go of any body part that is resisting the shape and let your breath meet no resistance in your body. And just remember, it's not really about how deep we go in this practice. With yin yoga, we're stretching and lengthening the connective tissues. So what really matters is the length that we're holding the pose. So with that knowledge, just approach your shapes with the idea of sustainability and deep breath in mind. There'll definitely be deep sensation in your shape, but if it gets to a point of pain, release it early and take a child's pose. Inhale, slowly lift up, coming onto your palms and walking your hands as close to your hips as possible, round your shoulders back, and take a gentle back bend here. And slowly release back to tabletop pose, picking your left knee in a little bit, and then swishing your hips side to side to release the shape. Or you can even take a downward facing dog if you prefer.
and we'll come to pigeon pose or reclined pigeon on the left. Step your left foot in between your palms if you're coming to full pigeon and walk your left foot all the way over to the right. Come down onto the knee. Make sure to gaze over your left shoulder and make sure that right foot is okay. Feel this pigeon pose for a few breaths. Come into your sleeping pigeon pose as slowly and gently as you did on the other side with your forehead on a block or on your forearms and feel free to use as many props here to make this shape more comfortable. Once you find your space in this shape, commit to stillness, just moving deeper into the shape when gravity and your body invite you to or backing off from the pose if it spills into a place of pain. Just listen to your body and honor it. Relax your shoulders, relax your jaw. Come back to noticing your breath if you've lost it. Deep inhale, slowly come back up. Walk your hands to your hips and take a gentle back bend again. Slowly make your way to tabletop pose and swish your hips side to side when you get there. Sit in between your heels. We're gonna come to saddle pose with two blocks. So set them up on your mat in a T shape. The top part of the T is going to support your head and the bottom part of the T is going to support your upper back. You can use a blanket underneath your knees if they're feeling really sensitive. And if you're feeling any pain here, just hang out in this version of the pose. You'll still get a nice lower back stretch if you sit on top of your knees. If you want, you can bring your palms down onto the floor feeling out how it feels in your knees. If it feels okay, bring the forearms down. 
starting to get that chest opener and then eventually bring your head and shoulders down onto the block. Bring your knees together or let them come as wide as your hips. You can reach your arms overhead for more chest opening. And this is our longest held shape as well as our deepest. So feel free to progress into it over time. That's the best way to avoid injury, if, especially if you're not very familiar with this shape. So feel free to stay in any of the other versions first for a minute or so before working your way down onto your back. Feel the deep sensation in the front of your thighs and the wonderful openness in your lower back. Bring your focus to how this shape feels and the flow of your breath in this space. And if you find yourself wondering how much longer we're going to stay in this shape, just light up your joint if you have one and know that that's exactly when the pose begins. Release your arms back down by your sides if they're extended overhead. If you're all the way down on your back, come down onto your forearms first, just pushing up and then inhale, come up in one motion all the way back up to hero pose. And then let's take a child's pose. Let your forehead come onto the mat or a block. Your hips sink low and your shoulders just soften. Just taking a few deep breaths here to kind of counteract that really, really deep, open back bend we had. Inhale, slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Bring your legs in front of you. And move your blocks to the side and any other props and lay down on your back.
Hug your right knee in and let your left leg stay on the floor. And take some range of motion circles with your ankle going in one direction then the other. Shift your hips over to the right and supine twist. Let your right knee come over to the left. We're going to evolve to cat pulling its tail pose if you would like to add a little bit more of a variation here. Bend your left knee and receive your foot with your right hand, keeping that right shoulder snug on the mat. You can extend your right leg to add a little bit more of a hamstring stretch. And just hold on to your right knee with your left hand. That's a nice twist to release after that deep back bend. Inhale, bring your right knee back into you and extend your left leg. Let's switch sides, bringing your right foot down, hug the left knee in. Take some circles with your ankle. And then shift your hips over to the left. Let your left knee drop to the right for a supine twist or coming to cat pulling its tail pose by bending your right knee, receiving the foot with your left hand. Let your chest face the ceiling. Left shoulder snuggles down onto the mat. And full belly inhales and exhales even as your lungs and your stomach get constricted in this twist. Inhale, slowly release, give your left knee a little squeeze before extending your right leg long and then your left. Just coming into banana pose on your right, walk both feet to the right side of the mat and lift your arms overhead, maybe clasp opposite elbows. Keep your shoulders snug down and if you want to intensify this stretch, you can even shift your hips over to the left or cross your left ankle over your right. Be soft here and try not to force the shape. Just let it come naturally and feel the whole left side of your body open from your heel all the way up to your armpit.
Uncross your ankles if they're crossed. Shift your shoulders back to center. And let's make our way all the way over to the left, walking your feet to the left, shoulders to the left. Maybe picking your hips up and moving them to the right. Push your right ankle over your left. And then settle into this shape. Inhale and release your banana pose to savasana, corpse pose. Feeling free to bring your blocks underneath your knees for even more lower back relief, but it should feel pretty sweet and supple and open in your lower back right now. We're going to spend a few moments in savasana pose, so just get comfortable, close the windows of your eyes, Maybe take one more hit of your bowl or joint if you have one. And then bring your focus to the ebb and flow of your breath. Just feeling this present moment, nothing more and nothing less.
Thank you for sharing your practice with me today. I hope you're feeling great. Let your movement into the rest of your day be gentle, mindful, and slow, just like this practice. And please leave me a like, subscribe, or a comment if you would like to see more of these classes. I'll see you next week, yogis. Namaste.